Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. Today we're back down here at SoCal Classic Car Storage. Dean, thanks for always letting us use your facility. We're with James, Jim at Lakeside Speed and Shine. Built this car for you. Let's talk about it, dude. What, 67 is it? 66. Six, yeah. got it. Was it a decent condition car or wh it, where were you at on it? I acquired the car from Hollywood Motors. They're up out of Long Island, New York. Let's just say that I made some mistakes and I paid the price. And today, I realize life's all about second chances. Wow, that's a nice car. And second-hand cars. It was originally a 115 car, so it was uh, bench seats, column shifter, inline six. I never actually physically went to go see the car. I had them send me a million pictures of the car. And it was in decent shape when I got it. I drove the car how it was for the first two years, and uh, the power glide started going out on me. So I said, you know what? That was after two years, though. I said, yeah. okay, it's time to go ahead and park the car and do the car how I really want to actually yeah. build the car. Yeah, that's yeah. how it morphed into what it is today. It was never supposed to be this full build. It was supposed to be a LS swap, and let's just go uh -huh. ahead and do that, and we'll just go ahead and put a mile cage in it, and I'll just drive it like that. Yeah. Six and a half years later. <laughs> Was it that long of a process? Oh, yeah. six, six and a half, half years. Year yeah. We'll get into all the exterior stuff, but yeah. let's pop the hood and take a look what you got going power-wise, and we'll talk suspension all right. and all that. What a, wow, dude, this <laughs> intake is bonkers. Yeah, that's usually the reaction I, <laughs> I get. <laughs> Holy shit. Are you the one that wanted this gambling theme on yeah, you? Yeah, so I love Las Vegas. Used to live in Las Vegas. <laughs> Matter of fact, my wife and I were married in Las Vegas. Okay. And so when I found <laughs> that you can do a hydrographic in a theme of Las Vegas casino, lucky car, lucky horseshoe, <laughs> I was like, that, that's it. That has to be it. Again, there was no wavering. It was going to be this design. Yeah, and I mean, you took it all the way down to the, the yeah, valve the covers. Valve yeah, covers yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. This one I was building basically for myself, and I told myself, you know what? It doesn't matter how it looks to anybody else because it was built. I'm building it for myself. Thanks for so. saying that, dude. And I know a lot of you guys out there, you like to chime in and, and talk smack. My opinion always on a build is, I got to be honest, dude. I, I see plenty of builds where I'm like, oh, yeah, whoa, that's sure. nasty. Right. I ain't going to say that to the guy. I'm no, gonna, his opinions uh, vary, obviously. And, and it's not my car. What is the power plant on this? We sourced the block. It's a 454 LSX. It's all of our own roller assembly, though, all of our own internals. Cam, pistons, crank, rods. R&D Dino is actually who built the motor for me. His name's Darren. He's also out of Havasu. Built the motor for me. And I told him, I said, you know, I'm looking for something. In, I want to be streetable. Yeah. But this is a good street. My 11 and a half to one compression. I run it on pump gas. And it makes right around close to 800 horse to the crank. We barely have 1,000 miles on it so far. Got so it. This is a really, really fresh build. Yeah, So yeah, everything gets yeah. seated and everything, you know, gets worked itself out. Then we'll start going to make some, doing a more of an aggressive tune in the car. And um, But you're still probably somewhere, you call it ballpark even 650-ish at the tire. Yeah, I would say so. That's pretty conservative. I mean, again, it's, it's a street car. People see the car and they hear the car and they're like, what the hell is up well, under there? Well, you sure hear this thing. But that's because it really doesn't have much of exhaust. <laughs> yeah. Inch and 7 inch church boys racing headers into a custom H pipe and we're running Black Widow exhaust on neighbor haters, the six inch can. So the cans are probably about this big. Yeah, that's yeah, big yeah. And that's, and that's all you got. What does it mate to transmission and... It's got a GM 4L80E mm -hmm. that was built by Hughes Performance and they're out of uh, Arizona as well. Okay. So the trans is set up to take probably close to 1200 horsepower. Oh, wow. Yeah. What's the rear end on the car? It's got a Curry 9 inch that's uh -huh. been chopped down to a 7 and 3 quarter. It's got a quick performance third member. It's got 350 gears. Strain shaft. It's, beefy it's stuff. Pretty, it's pretty beefy back there. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, get yeah. it, it's man. Back there. Given all the power you're adding, so I assume platform on this car is not original platform as far as... No, so what we did is um, we found during the process of mini tub in the car that we did have quite a bit of cancerous areas back there. So we've got mm -hmm. the TCI front clips, all IFS, power rack, ride tech coilover you know, springs, and then rear end, TCI's four link, the Curry backed out back. It's got the frame stiffeners in there. I mean, it's we ended up having to, because of where the cancer was that we ended up having to chop half the firewall down all the way to the trunk as a whole brand new pan. 
Oh, wow. So Dynacorn actually provided, uh, we wow. were able to source the, the materials from Dynacorn and Dynacorn provided the whole, all the metal we needed. The only thing on this car, as far as the body wise, that's not original to the car is this fender in yeah, the hood. Yeah, Cause yeah. it looks glass. Other yeah. than that, everything else is basically pretty, pretty solid. Yeah. Having seen a couple of Jim's cars up close mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. the engine bay is very Jim. Like it's yeah, very- Yeah, this is this has his name written all over it. I mean, yes. I, 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 I've been dealing with Jim since he had the white Nova when the white Nova was at his shop in Temecula. I was coming into his shop because I was also getting another car of mine done. I did collect a lot of ideas when he was kind of getting that car underway, but I was very, very big on having a very clean, not a lot of wires or cables or, and the fire wall just wanted to be completely smooth. You know, we, he was able to do his number and like see, if you see the white Nova, that firewall, very similar. Very similar with the supports mm -hmm. coming down mm -hmm. as well, the inner fenders, like, and yeah. I know as yeah. far as I, if I remember correctly from speaking with Jim about it, elements like your your inner fenders, this comes from TCI. Yeah. It's a package yeah. that comes yep. with their, yeah. That's their, yeah, that's yeah, their yeah, front end yeah, kit. Yeah. So TCI yeah. provides the, the fenders. Obviously you just color match them to your, your preference. Yeah. And speaking of color matching, is this Nardo gray? You hit it on the nose. It is Nardo. This is Audi Nardo gray. Your choice or Jim's? And this is my choice. This is actually my choice. Yeah. I always knew that the car was gonna be this color no matter what. I never wavered. This car was not gonna be any other color but this color. Yeah. However, I did a 3D rendering of the car before I had an idea on the striping. Yeah. And this car, all this color, one color, it wasn't gonna look right. It, and now I wanna see your striping. Yeah, so yeah. I, I, Jim and I, we kicked around the ideas on this stripe for months. Jim told me, he says, you know what? This is not a rally car, a rally stripe car. So I did a rendering with rally stripes on it. And I saw it, I was like, oh, just, to bad. It, yeah, huh? just to see it. Yeah. So Jim, while the car is literally in the booth, he had already shot the gray. He did some outlines, some striping, some tape striping, and he says, hey, take a look at this. What do you think yeah. we just do one big black stripe, because we custom built the hood as well. We'll do one big black stripe with some red trim around it, and we'll see how that looks. I said, okay, do it. And then that's literally how we came up with this after we'd already put the hood together, because the hood is a glass hood with yeah. a seven inch bubble scoop, Sunoco scoop, graph it into it. The beauty is, in my opinion, dude, the gray is what pops, the black, it kind of masks how big the scoop is to fit your, yeah, to fit. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you, it started need, out at seven inches. You need some room for that, right? It, it started out at seven inches. Uh, yeah. So we shaved it down, I think it's at like four or five now, but it, it was a monster. You're not gonna have a factory hood on this, but this hot, this Holly high rise. No, it's just not happening. no. And so it's all Holly stuff on here. It's huh? all, all Holly yeah. EFI. It's yeah. got the Terminator controller, so there's trans controller, everything else is all Holly. All all done, yep. yep, yep. And then brakes, I see you got a Willwood Master. I don't see any, oh, oh, so it is boosted, huh? Is yeah, yeah, so it's a manual setup though. So it's the same, basically the same setup as a white car. There's okay. no electronics to it. Okay. And you don't have any assistance as far as that. that's concerned, electronics or like that. I'm so. all good with, when manual brakes are, and Jim's one of the guys, that him and I talked about it. I, I specifically mm -hmm. remember, I think manual brakes have gotten a bad rap because when not set up properly, you're really having to put a lot of foot in it. Right. And you're still not getting big stopping power. Right, right. When right. it's valved properly and, and right. the mechanicals are right on the pedals, mm -hmm. then you get your braking where you need Yeah, the way we set up these, I mean, this is literally straight out the shop, no adjustments, <laughs> and we've had no issues with the car. All right, let's walk around a bit. I really like the color choices on here, man. It's many There's variations. so many variants of this color. Modern cars now. It should be played out by now. But for me, the, the Nardo is like, I keep thinking I'm tired of it, but I'm just not yet, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially it's, the way you accented it with all the, I love red, personally. Yeah, that's one of my favorite colors. And again, you, yeah. you can't, this car, all Nardo, is just, it, it doesn't work. Too it much, no, you gotta much. break it up with a graphic. It's too much. I came up with the idea for the hockey stick, and I just wanted some side graphic, and nothing too crazy. I did the 3D rendering, like I said, and I had uh -huh. the different options done where the, the stick itself came up all the way to the hood. I uh -huh. had it come up halfway to the body line. You know, going back and forth with Jim, we just ended up saying, you know, hey, you know what, let's just leave it before the back wheel and leave it at the body line. I like how you stopped it going across the roof of the car as well. I mean, you could have carried that through. Those are choices that you make as, mm -hmm. as you go. Again, that's why the 3D renderings are always awesome because you can design how you want the car to look before you turn one bolt. And that's what I did. Before I turned one bolt, if you are gonna build a car, the last thing you wanna do is get midway into it and decide you make a life-changing decision to change something like paint. Once you get into it, cost and labor and materials, they start to add up because you made a decision to change your mind halfway through the build. You have no idea how often I say, design before build, 
it saves you money. What, I'm oh, gonna yeah. spend five grand, 10 grand in renderings and design drawings and stuff like yeah. that? And you'll yeah, you might, yeah. but that might save you 30, 50 plus oh, thousand dollars in the long run. Yes, it's yes. the truth. I hope some sanity, of you guys are listening to your this sanity one. sanity and, and, and the headache. You yeah, know? it's a lot easier to look at a rendering and go, I don't know if I like that, rather than they do the work to your car and now you gotta go, I don't like that, and you've just yeah. paid for a month's worth yeah. of work that's gonna get you're, demoed? You're gonna try to force the shelf to like it then at that Dude. point. Dude, <laughs> yeah. So what are your wheel choices on here? These, I like them. These are Budnick Vapors, 18 by eight and a half, I believe is in the front. They're 1911s in the rear, uh -huh. uh, wrapped on a Mission and Pilot Sport 4S tires. Yeah, 225, 245 up front, 35, 18. The rears are 315, uh -huh. 30, 19s. And so the skinny front, is that more, I mean, I know it's not like pizza mm -hmm. cutter as they mm -hmm. call it, right? You've more set this up in the style of like a drag car, a pro street car-ish. Ish, yeah, I was on the fence of where I really want to take the car to as far as yeah. during the process. I said, well, you know, if we put a big wheel up front, then I have to then worry about clearance and all that kind of stuff. And it's got, mm -hmm. I mean, it's TCI stuff's a little bit more narrowed and it's mm -hmm. got drop spindles on it and stuff like that. So I just thought, you know, we just won't go overboard with the tire just so I don't have to worry too much about suspension travel and just inside the, the wheel well mm -hmm. rubbing and stuff like that. I probably could have went up to a nine and a half or something like that. These are actually powder coated hoops with uh, Cerakoted centers. Got it. Nice looking car, man. And then I see some Ring Brothers stuff, right? Yeah, like you I do. know that's yeah, Rings. Yeah, you do. Is that yeah, Rings do. as well or? No, no, that's, that's a factory uh, Chevy mirror, GM mirror. Got it, just um, blacked out. Yeah, just yeah. blacked out. Uh -huh. And we did the, did the Ring Brothers and they actually come to where you can actually remove the, the outer trim and color match it to whatever you want. I left it the way it came because I was looking for that satin to go with the rest of the trim nice. of the car. Nice, uh, Just kind of give a little bit more contrast. You're very detail oriented in your, in your like you didn't go, Jim, build me a car, I want it Nardo. Yeah, no, I'm probably one of his biggest headaches. Um, <laughs> just, be just because, and I say that in a, in a, in a jokingly way. Sure, of um, course. I'm really, really hands on. I designed the entire car from front to back before we turn one wrench. I know exactly what I wanted. There are some things that we obviously made some, some changes are along the way, but they weren't yeah. so significant that it really took away from the build process. Yeah. He's a big proponent of actually tucking in the bumper, chop them, tuck them in, got rid of the hardware. Mm -hmm. I also like this, I gotta throw this at you, man. Obviously there's room to go here if you wanted it, like like cut into the body and really tuck yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a nod to factory, but it's obviously, it's big. Right. Right, right, right. Yeah. I mean, I get how much massaging's been done mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. The other one for me these days is I go, you know, it's a back and forth thing, right? Mm -hmm. Is do we take off the drip rail? Do we leave a shadow of the drip rail? You know what I mean? I don't mind when I see drip rails left on cars. I personally was like, I yeah. want to see my trim. I want it to show, like, it's a classic car, but it's just I'm a modern you. classic car. I'm you start you. doing that, and then it starts taking away. I think too much from what the car originally looked like. Awesome. And I don't know if you know about this back here though. So these are the Fessler tail lights, LED tail lights. Yeah. But if you notice, you don't see the gas fill. I forgot that that's yeah, where it, it is on like the Nova, right? Like and it's like one of those horrible little caps. caps. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> so most people they run their fuel cell in the trunk. I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to have the car smell like gas. Man, it's just yeah. Bad enough, which you'll see. And I apologize now. The car is kind of fumey because when we did the exhaust, I didn't, wasn't thinking correctly and I had him just run it right before the rear end instead of bringing it out to the side gotcha. or to the back. So what uh -huh. happens with the car when you're driving or the car Bit is fitting, so you get out. the exhaust mm. in the car. So I'm gonna, that's mm. one thing I am gonna fix on the car mm -hmm. or, or change on the car. I'll probably mm -hmm. have him do it while he has it. But the fuel fill. Oh, come on. That's bitching, dude. <laughs> you know the old Tri-5 Chevys, he's had those like, that's, that's, that one's factory back Nobody's them, picking up on that. You know, that's, nobody knows that that's factory. That's there. bitching. Jim, <laughs> good dude, is that a Jim thing right that's there? A, it, was a, it was my idea, but I took Jim, hey, you, we gotta do this. Hell yeah. He, we, again, we kicked it around and he was like, you know what, I, I think I have a pretty good idea how to make that work. That's one of those, I promise you, because I, I, I've had to deal with it before. If I was storing your car at my shop and I noticed it running low on fuel, this is one of those I'd be going, <laughs> Shit, I need, where's the, I need to call James because yeah, I need where's the, where's this the, thing. Yeah, I'd, be, exactly. I'd be grabbing yeah, here yeah, yeah, and looking yeah, yeah. in the, mm -hmm. that's bitching, mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. Is yeah. this their assembly and everything or is that Jim, Jim modifying made it to? That. No, this is an assembly. Jim, Jim made Jim made that, ah, yeah. bitching, man. Just something different. How about your, is the trunk open? Oh, let's pop open that. I want to see, uh, 
just clean, nothing, nothing a whole lot there. Super just simple, uh -huh. super simple. One okay. of the priorities is to actually finish out the trunk. Obviously cover the speaker box, make a battery box, cover that. Mm -hmm. But obviously you see where the fuel fill goes into. Man, that's the only thing that gives it away, isn't it? Is if you, if yeah, if you weren't looking at it, like once the trunk is actually finished, you won't even see that. And then I'm also noticing, so the car's caged all the way through, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it was an eight-point cage done by FR Performance out in Ontario. So Abel Ibarra, he's an old drag racer back in the day, him mm -hmm. and a guy named Pauling, they actually hand fabricated the cage for me. That initially was supposed to be just the extent of what I was doing with the car. It was just cage the car, LS swap it, mini tub so I could put a big tire back there. That's let's, all. And let's go make some passes with it. Spend 50 grand. That was that was day. it. <laughs> Next thing I know, again, one thing led to another, and it's literally just kept going and going and going. He's like, well, if you do that, let's do this. Or if you do that, let's think about doing this. And I just I kept getting more and more ideas. I'm like, sure. you know what? Let's just build the car. Let's exactly just go all in. Go, I'm, I am all in. Like we're like we're in Vegas at the, at the table. I was gonna say, man, up front, I'm your intake in. says it yeah. all, dude. Yeah, yeah we're going that's all it. in on this thing. That's it. That's exactly, ah, I love that's exactly it, exactly brother. What happened. Slick. Yeah, this is where we are. Right. Speaking of where we are, let's go jump into the interior here. See, this is another one of those things, like, you know, you think about the sidebar. Yeah, if you're racing the car, obviously you want it higher for any mm -hmm. potential side impact, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But it's so nice to do this so that even Step an old guy like me, I can climb in yep. pretty damn effortlessly, yep. you know? But you get the safety and the rigidity of yeah. the cage, Yeah, it, you just, know? it just stiffens up the whole body, so. Damn, this is really clean, dude. And then, of course, you are smart enough to do that. Give yourself yeah, a tilt. Yeah, you you gotta have a tilt wheel. What are these seats from? Those are actually SCAT Pro Car seats. Ah. Um, they come just foamed, and then I had them upholstered. Got so, it. Okay. Yeah, they didn't come out of any specific car. They're actually SCAT Pro Car seats. As I was building the car, I said, you know, I'm not gonna go out. I don't wanna just go super crazy with the upholstery because I'm gonna, after a certain point, I'm gonna start beating on the car, you know? Yeah. So I'm like, I don't wanna have some nice ass upholstery, and then here it is. It's like, it's pretty but, nice, dude. It, it's clean, like I said, it, it's, it's, it's clean, it, it, but it, it, it was enough, it's just subtle for what I was looking for. Yeah, and then we obviously we ditched the back seat. So you got your big amps exposed right there in front of your face. That's a cool look, actually, I like that. Yeah, it's it's something that I, again, there's there's some changes coming in the forecast. Okay. And I think I'm gonna okay. go ahead and do something where I'm gonna actually hide all that hide stuff. Hide everything yeah, away. Yeah, uh -huh. hide all that stuff, so. Yeah. We're doing, like, I'm gonna change the carpet, because it's German square weave. I wanna go with the black version of the German square weave, though. Which is just coolest carpet you can put in a car, man. In my opinion, that that I've had it. I've had it on my last three cars. I've had it. Wow, they, even the added support going across the front mm -hmm. here since it, yeah, mm -hmm. bitching. I'm guessing Dakota Digital's there. Dakota Digital did the dash for me, and then um, billet buttons did all my uh, all my buttons. So these are all push button for your lights and yep. uh, headlights, dude. parking lights, starter button. If you can read the actual lettering around the starter button, I can't. <laughs> but can't I will when we go outside. Says, I've got 57 year old eyes. Start you some bitch. Does it really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta light it up so I can yeah. see it. <laughs> They do custom etching, so you can do whatever lettering or whatever you want to design around it. So, Man, I see a lot of different gauges from custom one-offs to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so many other brands of gauge. And I really like what Dakota Digital does. It's yeah, such a everybody nice... that I've known that that's building cars or trucks or what have you, um, that's that's what they're leaning towards. It's, it's one of those things where it's aesthetically pleasing at the eye, but very, very functional um, as far as the different parameters and settings you can employ to it. So sure. I do like the fact that it has all of the options and features, gives you more, you know, more adjustability. Yeah. This is your Bluetooth? Yep. Audio Diction out of Temecula. They, they did all my audio for me, so. That's your Holly computer? So that's Holly's, that's Holly's 3.5 monitor, like a little data monitor. It actually allows you to make tune adjustments, air fuel, various different parameters you can use to actually make adjustments on the fly. The face that I have it set to right now just gives basically just a digital display, so it gives you mile per hour, oil pressure, and it's all adjustable. What's the shifter? So that's a B&M Pro yeah. Ratchet. Yeah. I thought so by grabbing it. I can't. I, honestly, dude, when I, when I'm in light like this, my eyes. Uh, yeah, yeah. You guys go ahead and laugh. I'm 57 years old. <laughs> right here, buddy. Right here. <laughs> yeah, that's BNM's Pro Ratchet. This, so it's a 480E, so it's basically three speed with overdrive, so it's uh -huh. four speed. Uh huh. Is your? It's not a manual valve body though, right? Like you could put it into like drive and just drive. Yeah, yeah. You don't yep. have to manually yep. shift. Yep. No, you yeah. don't. Have to, you don't have to manually shift it. You mm -hmm. can put it in drive. You put it in drive, overdrive, or if, like I say, if you want, or you're at the track, you want to, or I light, you want to drop it all the way down in the first and drive it and like. Drive you through. can do that too. Sure, of course. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like how, again, you carried your Vegas That was theme. a recent ad. I oh, is it just really? did that probably two, three months ago. Yeah. Super, dude. 
Nice car, man. I appreciate it. I'm glad That's we finally got around to this. We're gonna go, you guys, we're gonna throw in the cameras, we're gonna go for the drive part of this and uh, go see how your car does in 95 friggin' degree weather, <laughs> my God. <laughs> expecting it to be a lot louder in here given how loud it is outside yeah yeah you got to remember too like the excess of the pipes are right up under the car right before the rear end so yeah i think once we extend them out either out the back or of the side it will be louder outside but inside it's not that bad sounds friggin badass dude this car sounds so yeah, good i was looking for literally this tone oh, it just sounds bitching and you don't have AC in here, do you? No, no. We don't have AC, it never came with AC, and we also don't have a heater either. I am, my intent is to, later on the line, put an electric heater in. So you guys, just so you know, you didn't hear it on camera, but as we got in the car, James said, I've never sat over here before. <laughs> yeah, I've never been on this side of the car before. <laughs> <laughs> it's really quiet when it drops down to yeah, idle. Yeah, when idle drops it... down, it will basically go silent. Yeah, as soon as you come on it a little bit, it's, yeah. it's right there. Having shot two vehicles with Jim at Lakeside Speed and Shine now, mm -hmm. I've come to right away really trust his quality of build. Yeah. So as soon as you said that, I was like, oh cool, I know we're getting in a car that's oh, yeah. a solid, you know the car is solid drive sure. it down the road. Because yeah. you know what I mean, dude, it is custom cars and it can easily not get this right, not get that right, right still right. be in depending the shake down. who gets their hands on it, you know? And Jim and his crew, from what I've seen, they build quality, quality yeah. custom builds. Yeah. One thing that look good, but obviously if the car handles well and it does what it's supposed to do, I mean, that's a whole different story, you know? Anybody, can put, a, anybody can put a wig on a pig. It's a compliment to, to the TCI guys, because I know Jim really likes the TCI yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, We've been dealing and, with them for, for a number of years now, and uh, they, they- Impressive. Their, their setup is just is spot on, and they yeah. make it car, it's like vehicle specific. It's not like you're gonna use that same setup on a, on a number of cars. It's specifically for your application. Yeah. So that's that's yeah. what I was more more so impressed about. Yeah. No, it's proven. Their stuff works, man. How you doing? Good what thing. a great sound. God dang. Yeah, I mean, it just idles. Just, that beefy yeah. cam going on. Yeah. I, I, all the lope yeah. of it and stuff. I always thought it was neat with them that they're not a big corporate company. No. So they can have things like the angry housewife and the neighbor hater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, they can yeah. have fun with naming their products. Right, right. You gotta have fun with it. But like, have some sense of it's humor. Not like what they do, they might have went to billet buttons to get that idea. <laughs> yeah, that's great. On, yeah, that's great. So Hilarious. you got to pick that, or yeah, you could you could up to so, so many characters, right. numbers and letters, obviously. Right. You could pick whatever you want to say, as long as it'll fit around the ring. And I'll pick the name. So of funny, yeah. man. Yeah. Car just, I mean, that says it all, right? Yeah, you can let that. go of the wheel and the car's not. It's not tracking it, it's track straight, it's straight and narrow. And I can tell it's stiff enough that you're gonna get some handling, but it's, I mean, yeah. we're going down a mildly bumpy. Yeah, 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 yeah. the road, you know, and road conditions are gonna vary, so. It's not like you have to, I'm sure you watch out for potholes, but otherwise oh, yeah. you you're, can you're, just drive you're, down you're, the road. You're dodging them, yeah, you're dodging them for yeah. sure. I see what you mean, a little bit of the fumes coming in, right? Yeah, I, you get that, so that's why I have to route those exhausts uh -huh. either out the back somehow or out the side. I remember the day I got the windows tinted, and he, and the guy said, "You can't put the windows down, obviously." So I'm right. driving home like asphyxiated. Like let me open his windows for a second. Yeah, you're clobbered here. So just so you know. And I know a lot of you guys like to give me trouble about this, but I say it all the time is like, you've never sat over there. You're allowing me to drive your car, oh, yeah. which yeah. is amazing to me. So we will show you guys. We will, James, I'm sure will put his foot in it a bit. Oh yeah. That's what I do when I drive other people's cars. Just <laughs> That's like, all you get. That's all you I'm, get. <laughs> I'm, you know, man. Boy, I see how you can really drive and just cruise no, and just enjoy. I'm not doing it. That's exactly what I do. I, I take it out, wiping out, jumping in. We'll either go to a show or go out to a, a winery for, the, for lunch one day or just, you know, well, I'm cruising. Yeah. Does your wife enjoy the hot rods? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. she does. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Typically, it works like this. If the wife enjoys it, is involved with it, then it makes the, the, the process that much easier because you don't have to worry about 
you know, she always wants to go to the show. She wants to attend like the you know the car meets and go on the cruises with me. So that's that's great. Worked out for me. Yeah. You know? So the car's been done for how long? You said like the a car's year? been done for since like last October. So um, you're not even one full year of it being done. No, yet. no. And you see the mileage, thirteen hundred. Wow, so it hasn't been done for a year yet. But you get it out and drive it, dude. But I do drive I mean, it though. Yeah, people ask me all the time, like, do you go to a show or go to a, a, a event or something like that? And I got the car with me, and they're, that's what they ask. Like, Did you drive that here? Normally the answer is yes, unless I'm going somewhere far away. Like, you know, we'll take it with us on a camping trip for like a week, and I'll put it in a trailer. And we'll go out and find a vendor or a cruise to go to out of town. And at that point, yes, the car is trailered, but typically sure. the car is, is driven. So I can see with 1,300 miles on it, the yeah. car's not even a year old yet. Nope. And nope. I like it, obviously. I mean, they're built to drive. Let's be honest, yeah, dude. Yeah, that's, that's my thing. There's, a, there's so much beautiful artistry, and it's yeah. like, I get the guy or girl that doesn't want to get blemishes and stuff, but you know yeah, what, Yeah, worried about what it was made to do. It, right. You've got also other cars to enjoy, so yeah. I'd imagine if this was your only fun car, it'd probably have three oh, or yeah. 4,000 miles oh, yeah. on it by now, right? Yeah. that I mean I barely did but it shifts at a nice point right yeah it's, it's so like it's, you're in you're in overdrive like right now you put your foot in it it's gonna shift on you yeah we're still working on the shift points yeah so that's a part of the next tune that we do um, after I get it off this mild street tune like I said we just kind of get everything like everything get broken in but one of the things that I wanted to do was definitely address the, the shifting points and how smooth they actually are yeah because you can you can control how the, the stiffness or how the so hard you make it a super yeah, hard exactly, banging exactly. shift if you want. i don't care too much for that but then there's a time and place for everything yeah you know? but i prefer the shift not to be so hard and abrupt you know i'm with you i know i said it, Jim, <laughs> a nice car brother I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm once again impressed with your company lakeside speed and shine man the other thing I gotta say, man, testament to manual brakes brake properly I, set I, up. I, I in was my about opinion. to ask you about how you feel about, man. about the brakes. Well, I like manual anyways. I don't even yeah. mind the ones where you have to dig hard. Yeah. The part I don't like is when manual it's not set properly. So you're putting your foot in it, but you still feel like if I had to really stop hard, I would not be able to. It almost feels like a powered brake, power other than that brake. there's a lot of touch yeah. in it. I can, you yeah. know, it's yeah. very well set up, man. Yeah. You guys, I know we end up talking about it a lot, but you gotta understand, there's plenty of times where I'm meeting someone for the first or second time. Yeah. So if we reference back to the crash, that's all it is, is just a marker in time. I always liked brakes anyways. I always thought brakes were a really good friggin' idea. Yeah. <laughs> now you more think? than ever, yeah. I'm a bit sensitive yeah. to them, you yeah. know? and. Yeah. and and I do. You don't want to be chewing on the dashboard again. I really don't. <laughs> don't want to do that. They, they don't taste good, and you know, <laughs> I kind of like my new teeth. I think right, they look see? pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the turning on this is really bitching. Yeah. Isn't but, it the best, dude? A custom car like this, somebody gets in the driver's seat, and you don't have to say, "Okay, now push extra hard on the brake yeah. or watch this. what do happens that. here." Turn early. Drive Turn the later. Car. This it's is a drive the car. The car. It's a modern car, modern technology. In a classic. In a classic car, with yes. a classic body. I'm you know? totally with you. Hey. shit face <laughs> <laughs> yeah i felt it break loose oh, and kick on loose. you a little bit loose. yeah yeah nice ride brother bitching <laughs> Dude, i 
I just love this shit so much. I swear to yeah. you. Because I know you're a guy with means, right? So you've so you've probably owned, maybe you even still own, some modern luxury brand vehicles, yeah. right? Yeah, I okay. do. I ain't knocking any of it. It does what it does and it does it great. It just doesn't do this. Yeah, it doesn't it, do it, this. It, it it's not gonna do this. This? I want it to do this. Yeah, just this. This. I don't want it to be like, you know, traction control and stability control. Well, yeah, like, that's the thing about this. these cars is they literally have no electronics to save you. Yeah, you have to respect the horsepower. I think you do across the board, but oh, especially yeah, yeah, in, in general, a car yeah, that's got sure. no granny sure. assist. Right, right. modulating takeoff. You're smart. <laughs> but I smell all that rubber right now. Oh yeah. Mm. Good time, man. That was a good time. Thank you for taking the time, James. No, I know absolutely, it's... man. Thanks for the invite. And Jim, Mr. Lakeside, speed and shine. Good work, dude. You guys, I I would love it if you go give Jim a little bit of love because uh, I'm becoming more and more a fan of his company. You know, he, he does great work, man. Your pull away just now, I felt it. You were just modulating it. You don't oh, yeah. want to sit there blowing the tires Feather off. Yeah. I'm good with that, dude. And I know some of you guys want to give trouble about this, but I'm a big fan of respecting horsepower. When you have, yeah. what'd you say this car, Dino Dad? Just, just shy of 800. Yeah, just shy of 800 cranks, so you're 650-ish, maybe a little more or less. Tire, that's a power you got to respect. Yeah. You yeah. do, because it can get away It'll from you. It'll get away you. from you. That, my friends, is what I call a badass 66 Nova, man. It looks beautiful, sounds great. Most importantly, it drives down the road great. I'm quick becoming a huge fan of Jim and his company, Lakeside Speed and Shine, because I think they really do put as much attention on making a car look good as they do making it drive good, and I think they do both very well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, thank you so much for coming, hanging out, watching, and supporting what we do here, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, man, later. <laughs>